Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to find transactions in QuickBooks Desktop. So I wanted to put together this video because I do get this question a lot about how to go back and find certain transactions in QuickBooks. And you know, you can you can search through vendors, you can search through customers, uh, employees, etc., and look for a transaction. Uh, but that gets pretty cumbersome. So I want to show you in QuickBooks how to quickly find a transaction. Okay, so if you go up to the edit drop down menu and go to find all right so there's a search function within QuickBooks okay and here is the main screen so you've got a simple search all right so what you can do is say I want to search for an invoice so you can choose any one of these it could be a bill it could be a you know an invoice etc so let's say that we want to search for an invoice for Babcock's music shop and any, you know, we don't have an invoice number, an amount, a date, etc. You can just click find. All right, so it's going to find all of the invoices. Now, if you want to restrict it to a certain date, you know, say it was a couple years ago, uh, if you know an invoice number but can't seem to find it, you can put that in. You can even put in the amount. So if a customer says, hey, I got this invoice for this, type it in quickly here and you can find it. It'll pull it up. Okay. Now you have a couple of options over here. You can reset this and redo it. Uh, you know, you can, once it brings up an option, you can go to it, you can do a report, you can export, et cetera. All right, now, if you go to the advanced tab, you've got a couple more options here. All right, so now you can filter it by the account, the amount, uh, et cetera. So let's say I wanted to find an amount, all right, and let's say it's any, but we want to say that it is greater than or equal to $150, all right? And we want to put, uh, uh, or you want to put from a date, okay? So there's a certain date range. Uh, but we're going to, or this right here for the amount, we're going to say from, you know, $100 to 100 and say, 250 okay? So if we want to search for transactions of that size we can do that and it's going to bring up all transactions that are between 100 and 250 dollars okay or if you want to let me reset this you can say uh, let's say that uh, we only want to look in transactions for all assets all right include split details yes we say find we've got the information okay you can also put uh, you know customer type okay so there's all sort of due dates there's all sorts of filters and um, you know things that you can put in here to quickly find transactions so this is a way to you know if, if a customer calls and says hey can you uh, tell me about this invoice all right well you can look up the invoice under the simple search uh, pull it up right here and you've got it instead of going to the customer center, going to the customer and scrolling through and looking for those transactions. So this is a quick and easy way to do that. All right, any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment uh, or a question below. Head over to the QuickBooks University, show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks, get you up and running really, really fast, qbuniversity.org.